have an amazing story on this Motivational Monday, a woman whose message of hope truly inspired us when we first saw it in People magazine. She's a mother of three who's facing stage four metastatic breast cancer. She's doing it head on, helping others who are newly diagnosed take control of their situation. She's gonna join us in a moment with her beautiful family, but first, take a look at her story. Jamil Rivers cares for her entire family, mom to three beautiful boys and loving wife to Ricky, who has been battling health problems for years. Just last winter, a common cold hit the family, but when Jamil's symptoms would not go away, she learned it was something far more serious. Test results revealed she had stage four metastatic breast cancer. Through 10 months of chemotherapy, Jamil never quitting her full-time job, refusing to let cancer define or defeat her. <laughs> now Jamil making her mess her message, sharing her strength with others in need. Jamil Rivers joining us now with her husband Ricky and their three sons Michael, Joshua, and Craig. Morning everybody. Y'all were just watching that setup piece, just giggling along. Yeah. Sing, uh, first of all, how are you doing? How I'm are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm yeah? doing great. I did a year of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, I worked through chemotherapy the whole time, and now all of my tumors that were spread all over in my body have shrunk to microscopic size. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. I know you're continuing to get checked every, yes. every three months or so. So every three months I get yeah. a scan. I just got my latest scan April 15th and it's still clear. We'd love to hear that. We'd love to hear that. You, we, we saw your story, first of all, in People Magazine and the number of people that have reached out. There was one who said, your consistent, cheerful messages and check-ins became a vital part of my days, helping remind me that I am indeed entitled to be cheerful. This is somebody that's walking a journey like you are. How do you maintain that positive outlook? Um, I think whenever I'm feeling down, I just think about my family. Um, I hear family. their little munchkin voices <laughs> saying, I love you, mommy. <laughs> and so that just pushes me to keep forward. And I think being involved and having my community of girlfriends, that's mm -hmm. how I look at them. And we're all going through the same thing, supporting each other. And so it just makes me hopeful. Yeah. that, you know, we're going to live a long time with this. You have so. a lot of reasons to do it right here on this couch. <laughs> and Ricky, I see that. Uh, Ricky, yeah. you've had your own journey, not once, but twice. Twice, yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I uh, was diagnosed with kidney cancer in February. I recently had a surgery which removed the tumor that was on my left kidney, mm -hmm. so I'm good with that. Uh, prior to that, I had colon cancer, stage one colon cancer. Had a colectomy. Had that removed, I'm doing good with that. So no more signs of cancer. Now that <laughs> oh. wasn't my only struggles I ever had to deal with. Right, right. Um, when I was 18, I was diagnosed with PSC, primary sclerosis and cholangitis, it's a liver disease. Mm. Uh, for 10 years, I was asymptomatic. No signs of it, no, no repercussions to myself. But uh, around when I was 28 years old, everything kind of came to a head real quick within a year. And I was on the transplant list, I was breaking down, I was pretty mm -hmm. much dying. Um, I got a, trans, a liver transplant, um, and from that, I was all right. You guys are just so. warriors. You are just warriors and thrivers. I like Big Brother. Big, I, I like that stash that's coming in really nice right there, Trey. I like how that looks. What does it mean to you and your brothers to have this kind of strength from your mother and father? Just looking at them and seeing everything they've been through, it just shows how strong they are, determined just helpful to everyone else that's going through it and uh, just forth going with everything that they're doing. Um, just appreciate it. I'm sure that you do, I'm sure that you do. And you have a message, Jamil, that you want. You know, not all cancers are the same, not all breast cancers are the same. Right. Metastatic breast cancer, and, and, you, and you have a message that you wanna make sure people hear. Yes, um, I think that we've gotten into a kind of stable complacency with breast cancer, that the work has been done because the survival is getting better. But metastatic breast cancer, only 5% of breast cancer research is going to stage four breast cancer, mm. which is abysmal. We really need to have more attention to it. Um, and metastatic patients are dying at the same rate as victims of the opioid crisis and oh. gun violence. And so we really just need more attention to not have metastatic breast cancer be in isolation where there's more research and focus on us. And if you're really serious about saving lives, then you have to focus on metastatic breast cancer patients. Thank you for Period. that, because people don't talk about that yeah. enough. And do. Look, <laughs> we're cheering you on. What's your name? 
Joshua. What's your name? Michael. Michael? What do you think of Mommy and Daddy? Um, I love them so much. They f um, they take care of me <laughs> and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> You, you all, what is your, your message for somebody who's walking this right now, who's sitting at home, who may not have the support mm -hmm. that you have here? What do you tell them and how do you help lift them up? You do not have to go through this alone. Mm -hmm. There are so many organizations and people out there that will support you. I know I'm even on Facebook and Twitter. You can reach out to me if you just need somebody to pull you through and we can push forward together. There's strength in numbers. and. Um, people that are not living with this know your risk, especially black women, because this is not even on our radar yeah. these days. We hear about diabetes and high blood pressure, but know your history, know your risk. That's it. Camille Griffin, follow her on Twitter. Thank you all very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.